Hello again and welcome back. This is going to be the second part in this little video series, this little over the shoulder view at how I test and develop trading strategies. The first part we looked at, went over the rules and we looked at how to take these trades using the outside bars on a four hour chart and then we began development using dollar yen and we looked at the start time and the end time, trying to find a time window within the 24 hour day where trades are best to take. And we worked out that starting at zero, maybe stopping trading at about 1700 works best. Although it did work terribly, but it was certainly better than trading all day. At the moment, we've just got a fixed 100 pip stop and profit. So in this development, when we go over to the computer, that's what I want to look at. I want to look at Optimizing, see what values are best for the stop loss and the take profit. I expect they're not going to be the same, so not going to be 100 and 100. They might be 80 and 180. I think they're going to be different, but that's something that we're going to look at. And if they don't work very well, then we can look at changing the exit. I've got another idea for exit in the trade, going to possibly introduce a time exit. So follow along. We go over to the computer now and continue in the development process. Okay, we're back at the computer again, back at the developments. So far we've looked at the time window in which we trade. Now, the next thing to look at is those stop loss and take profit levels. So let's, first of all, have a look at the take profit level. Now, I've done an optimization between 0 and 400 pips. I don't think we're going to be looking to take more than 400 pips profit. I'm pretty sure we're not on a, a short term trading strategy like this one. So let's have a look at the optimization report. And we see here uh, profit, that's our take profit level, and 0 0.1 is actually 10 pips. So we're going from 0 through to 4, which is 400 pips. And Again, starting at the net profit column, this column here on the left, uh, we see a, a reasonable area around here. We're into profit now. Uh, 1.9 and 2, that's 190 or 200 pips. Now, that's an option, but it looks a little bit isolated to me. You know, either side of it, we've got quite considerably lower, lower net profit. So... Although it kind of looks good in results, I think it's a little bit too isolated to take. Let's carry on, move further down. And as we get more down towards the end, you can see numbers here, they, now they start to increase. And we get, we get the maximum at 3.5, 3.4, 3.5, and then the profit does start to drop off again. So an area, around 3.4, 3.5 is probably the best area to take. So let's have a look at that. And that's the equity curve for using 3.5 or 350 pips to take profit. Still with that 100 pips stop loss, but a take profit of 350 pips. And again, it's pretty awful. It's a lot better. I mean, it's in positive territory now, but it's still pretty awful. Now, something that I'd like to point out here, which is extremely important. Now, this equity curve spans across a period from 2008 through to 2016. We know that. We can see that below on the time scale. And if somebody was to pick this strategy up and... Let's say that we look at the end the end here, we're at the end of 2016. If at this sort of high period here, we're looking at sort of July 2016, let's say the somebody picked this strategy up, found this strategy on the internet around July 2016, thought, oh, this looks really good. Um, let's do a bit of testing just to make sure it works. And they did maybe couple of years worth of back tests. So from July 2016, and I tested back to um, July, which is about here, 2014. 
this period here is an uptrending curve. So the person who picked this strategy up is going to test for two years. They might be manually testing. It might take forever. I used to do it. I know. And they might look at the strategy and think, oh, yeah, look, uptrend and equity curve. It works really well. However, they might not have seen this earlier disastrous type period. And that's why I believe it's very important not, not to test just a short period of time, like a year or two years. You really do need to look at a bigger picture when testing these particular strategies. So that was just a little, a little side note that I wanted to point out while I saw it. Now, the next thing we need to look at is the stop loss. So we've got that 350 pip take profit now. So let's look at the stop loss. And again, I've done an optimization uh, between zero and 300. So, or zero and three as it is on, on my uh, report. Now, where's the best areas? You can see some good areas through here. Middle ground-ish, kind of 1.3, 1.4, 1.5 slight, ever so slightly worse, but I think I'm inclined to go with 1.5. Now, you remember before it was actually 1 or 100 pips. So but we're going for a bit of a wider stop. Let's go for 150 pips and see how that changes the performance report, the equity curve. And the equity curve actually looks worse, doesn't it? Which is quite interesting. It probably was stronger in this end period and, and ended up with a higher net profit, but I mean, it's not it's not too dissimilar to what it was before. So the take profit hasn't actually made a huge impact. Now, what we could do is change the type of stop loss and the take profit. Before, when I done a development, I used a percentage of the range of that four-hour trigger bar. So it incorporates the volatility of the market at the time. Personally, I don't think they're always the best thing to use. And with this strategy, I'm not actually going to waste time looking at development on those uh, volatility type stop and take profit. I really don't think that it's going to make any difference. Um, if anything, it's normally a little bit worse, to be honest. So I think what we're trying next is change the exit. Let's change the exit to exit the trades at the end of the day. So we're, we're really short in the trades now and hoping to find a, an explosive move during the day and then exit at the end of the day. Let's see how that works. And here's the performance report for ending the trades at the end of the day. Remember, we still got these very wide take profit 350 pips, stop loss of 150 pips. But I thought there might be some sort of improvement, but it hasn't, it's actually made it worse. So what we can do is, again, look at the, the take profit and the stop loss levels, even the trade time, the time window, things might have changed now we've altered for this shorter exit. But that's gonna be on the next video. So hopefully we're gonna be able to still make something out of this what looks like a terrible strategy so far so stay with me we we'll continue in the next video and see how things work out